Hello and welcome to this. You can see it on the screen there. Uh, video one, screencast one. All right, so we'll start with fertilization. Uh, we've already been through the reproductive system. We know what that's all about. So now these terms should be familiar to you, but uh, fertilization is so the two reproductive systems have gotten together literally, and there are sperm cells swimming along first uh, through the vagina, uh, the upper reaches of it, and then in through the cervix, up into the uterus, and then up into the oviducts. So they've got to uh, kind of fight their way through some kind of adverse conditions. If a male produces like a hundred plus thousand sperm cells per uh, ejaculate, uh, you can only get a few thousand of them possibly even getting to the oviduct. And so a lot of, you know, the stars got to align. You got to be, there's got to be an oocyte traveling down the oviduct. It's got to be the right time of the month. It's got to be the right oviduct. It's got to be functional sperm cells. It has to be a viable egg cell. So there's a lot of things that have to take place. And if uh, one egg and one sperm are lucky enough, they may meet and they may meet in the oviduct. So that's where the sperm cell and the secondary oocyte meet. So that's the thing that gets penetrated. The sperm cell penetrates a secondary oocyte. It is able to do that due to this process here called an acrosomal reaction. The tip of the sperm cell, as you know, has an enzymatic kind of warhead called an acrosome. And that acrosome uh, dissolves this structure called the zona pellucida, which I'll briefly show right here. The zona pellucida is this outer sort of thicker layer here, right? And so the sperm cell is able to kind of dissolve its way through there and get the nucleus uh, inside. There's an, a plasma membrane right here that the sperm cell has to bind to and allow the, that membrane has to allow it in as well. So that whole process occurs and then the uh, you call that sperm penetration. Now uh, fertilization is technically when the sperm and the egg now nuclei combine, but we'll go back. Once that first sperm cell gets in, then the egg takes some steps to prevent more sperm cells from getting in. The goal of sexual reproduction is to get the haploid gamete of one sex to meet the haploid gamete of the other sex and reform a diploid zygote, uh, you know, new organism, new embryo. So multiple sperm cells getting in would be detrimental. And it can happen, and it does happen, and usually that results in a uh, miscarriage. It, it results in sort of a spontaneous termination of that development uh, because it's not going to be a functional offspring one way or the other. In any case, the steps of that uh, prevention, that sperm block, is that you first the egg will conduct what's called an oocyte membrane block. So that, that plasma membrane, the actual phospholipid bilayer there, <clears throat> stops becoming receptive. So if one sperm gets in, cool. Another sperm tries to get in somewhere else. Even if it gets through the zona pellucida, it's not going to be able to bind to the membrane and it's not going to get in access to the oocyte. Uh, the other reaction is called the cortical reaction, which is going to be a zona pellucida blocker for the most part. So it's going to harden up that zona pellucida, making it kind of immune to the acrosome. So the sperm cells may be swarming all over the oocyte, but they're not going to get in. Uh, <clears throat> usually. So once that sperm nucleus gets in, that's when meiosis II basically finishes. And that's what you say, that's when I say that the secondary oocyte becomes an ovum. An ovum is just egg and that's kind of the finished product. So an ovum, <coughs> pardon me, and a sperm cell are at the same stage of development. They're both kind of, the, they're, they're the finished product. When those two nuclei get together, you got fertilization, and the result of that fertilization is a diploid, single-celled embryo called a zygote. Again, here is an illustration of the acrosomal reaction, just so you can put kind of images to the words. And that's the end of video one.